The hairdresser of the daughter of Fir'aun, you know, one day she was, she was uh, doing her hair and she dropped the comb. And when she dropped the comb, she said, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. And Fir'aun's daughter, obviously from another wife or from a concubine other than Asya, she said to the hairdresser, she said, Abi, Allah, my father. And the hairdresser responded and said, no, the Lord of your father and the Lord of me and the Lord of you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The hairdresser of the daughter of Fir'aun was a righteous woman and she brought Iman in the message of Musa al-Islam. She believed in Allah and due to that Fir'aun has given her one of the worst punishments. So the daughter goes back to Fir'aun, she says to Fir'aun, you know, she narrates this incident to Fir'aun, Fir'aun doesn't think twice, he doesn't have an ounce of an atom's worth of mercy in his heart. Fir'aun orders for a pit to, you know, to be dug and copper to be burned in that pit so that that woman and all of her children will be thrown into that pit in front of everyone. Fir'aun wanted to make an example out of everyone who believed and subhanAllah, instead Allah made an example out of him for all time. To, to even where his corpse has been preserved so that we can see the humiliation that he was put through. But he wanted to make an example out of this woman. So Fir'aun calls the town, Asya obviously is witnessing this incident. This woman has all of her children, she's a poor woman. And Fir'aun says that I'm going to throw each and every single one of your children into this pit. And the woman says, I have a request from you, O Fir'aun. He says, what is that request? She says, the request is that whenever you finish burning us, that you gather our bones in one cloth. SubhanAllah, look how much this mother loves her children, which makes the test even greater. And Fir'aun says, Laki dhalik, you have that request honored. So one by one, Fir'aun started to throw her, her children into that boiling oil and they were perishing right in front of her until it came down to just her and the baby that was in her arms that she was suckling and she became hesitant because she didn't want to throw this baby into the fire. And the baby spoke and Rasulullah said this is one of the babies that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused to speak amongst three babies. You can try to figure out who the other two babies were. This baby spoke and said to the mother, go ahead and jump, throw me in. Because torture and punishment in this world is much lighter than the torture and the punishment of the hereafter. And so she takes this baby and she jumps with her baby into this pit and she perishes. And subhanAllah, when Rasulullah on the night of Al-Isra al Mi'raj in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet as he was going through the heavens, he smelled a beautiful scent. And he said, Ya Jibreel, ma hadhihi ra'ihat al tayyibah Oh Jibreel, what is this beautiful smell that I'm smelling? And Jibreel alayhi salam said, that is the scent of the hairdresser, of the, the daughter of Fir'aun. That is her scent in Jannah. SubhanAllah, the Prophet was smelling her cloth. The Prophet was smelling her beautiful scent in Jannah, even as the Prophet was traveling on the night of Al-Isra al Mi'raj. So my brothers and sisters, you can see how Allah has rewarded the hairdresser of Fir'aun's daughter. Even Rasulullah got the smell of her scent when he was in the journey of Isra al Mi'raj. My brothers and sisters, if you go through struggles in this dunya, if you go through persecutions in this dunya while obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not let your effort go in vain. Allah will reward you abundantly. And for many of us, you will see the reward in this dunya. And for others, maybe you'll be seeing it, if not in the dunya, in the akhirah. Allah will reward you both in this dunya and in akhirah. Never give up hope and have trust in Allah. Obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do as much as good deed as possible for you.